we're talking about is transient, which is those communities that are constantly moving, constantly changing. So they're the ones in private rental properties or uh, young people that are coming to university and, and coming for one year and then moving properties. So what we've tried to do is do projects that are targeted at those people. So the first one's called private rental, which is dealing with people in private rental properties. And what we try to do there is work with residents, housing associations and landlords to really find out why people are struggling to recycle and how we can keep those messages long lasting instead of this constant cycle of change. So what was done there was permanent signs, electronic uh, guides, working with housing officers, training, to leave a bit of a legacy really, make it sustainable. Then the other projects uh, as part of this uh, theme were student ones. Uh, the first one was Golden Bin and that was working with uh, Manchester students in Fallowfield, which is a very big student area. And what we did there was we used a social media based campaign and this was after talking to students and asking them what would really work with them. We used student ambassadors to help us really spread the message. We did everything via social media, so Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And the competition there was if you found a recycling bin with a golden tag, you took a picture of yourself, a rubbish selfie, sent it in and you could win a prize, so pizzas, things that are around the local community, something that's going to really incentivise them to actually recycle. And then the final one was which is a bit of a wild card really, and that was working with Bolton University and getting them to design a game, a physical game, which really gets students excited about recycling and really understand what they're doing. And so that was called Beat the Bin Men. It involved a lot of rolling around, getting messy, all these kind of things. And we ran that at Bolton University twice, uh, one in the summertime and one during Freshers' Fair. And, and that worked really well to get the message across to all the students in the halls and things like that. And we saw a real big increase in recycling there. Successes for the private rental was really getting the housing associations on board and the residents. We're talking about really difficult areas here where there's not a lot of community feel and we really managed to bring that together. The Golden Bin campaign even though we didn't get a lot of entries, we got a lot of feedback that everyone knew about the campaign and about recycling. And I think the key to that was our student ambassadors. They really helped to put a student face to everything and really give us what the students wanted instead of us just sweeping in and, and working out what we needed to do. And then the final one, the success there was at the coverage at Bolton University and the increase in recycling. Um, Bolton University hadn't done a lot really regards recycling with the local council so that created a really good relationship that's going to be ongoing after we've finished. The key learning points I think for the student ones is to really involve the students and involve them as part of your campaign team as well, uh, really get them involved in, because they know what's going to attract their fellow students. In regards to social media, they know what is the latest thing to follow, what's the latest trend. Uh, regards private rental, it's really getting your housing associations on board. Our aim was to work with private rental um, landlords, but they've been really difficult and I think that's been one of our downfalls regards this private rental project we just couldn't get hold of those um, landlords mainly because they're not around their absence but for the overall theme we have really seen a big increase in committed recycling um, and a lot of people really know about the campaign.